James Fashion says, and his fullness, we have all received grace for grace. Thank you, Jesus. New Learning Translation says, from his abundance, we have all received one gracious blessing after another. Hey, that one is good, eh? Hallelujah. And then we have uh, King James Fashion, which is which is actually a bit more original. And he says, and of his fullness have all we received any grace for grace. Amen. Grace for grace, I would say that is a double grace. We're talking about the ultimate expression of God's love for mankind. So grace is an expression of God's love for mankind. Amen. And if you are close, if you can, if you can lead, we, we, we have the notes going through even as we as I continue, so or not to be going through, actually to help to help us. So they'll be in the screen, they'll be displayed there. So capture, capture, capture them as we continue. So we're saying that grace is the best, is best actually described being given what we do not deserve. Receiving what we do not deserve. Is the kindness or the goodness that God gives us though we do not deserve it. Hmm? Praise the name of the Lord. And you know there's a difference as we continue there's a difference between mercy and grace. Mercy is what you get. What you, what, let, let me read it. This, this is different from mercy. Which means not getting what you actually do deserve. Hallelujah. Are we together? So the Greek place, you know, that, that has been used for this fast that we led uh, is actually translated grace upon grace. There is already grace that we have in our lives through salvation. We are saved through grace. Amen. But this month, on top of that grace, God is going to add grace. So this month is a month of divine grace. But I want to say that the Lord will, will give us double grace. Grace upon grace. Praise the name of the Lord. So we will be in for grace upon the grace that already operates in our lives. Tutakuwa na neema juu ya neema ambayo iko ndani yetu. Sema amen. And that's what we are saying. This actually implies on the constant overflowing gift. So grace is also a gift or a blessing. What we are saying is that upon the grace that is at work in us, there will be overflowing grace that will continually flow from heaven. Upon the blessings that we have, hallelujah, as believers, God has opened a tap of grace that will continually of be overflowing upon our lives this month of May. If you believe that, just say a good amen. So you are in, eh? you are in for a double grace this month in the name of Jesus. You are a singled out for grace upon grace this month of May the month of our divine grace. Hallelujah. If I were you, I would say a good amen. 
Hallelujah. So the month of May 2022 is our month of divine grace. And we thank the almighty God for counting us worthy. For counting you worthy. You know, among the living souls hmm, to enjoy the grace, uh, the divine grace this particular month. If you believe it, say amen. I am saying this because there are many who went yesterday. There are many who went yesterday and didn't have the opportunity to enjoy this month. So you need to thank God for, 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 being, for, for singling you out. Amen? To enjoy grace upon grace this month in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So it is my prayer that God will give you strength to enjoy this divine grace this month in the name of Jesus Christ. And we will make things that look impossible to be possible in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes you may look at things and you'll see like you are overwhelmed. Hallelujah. you see like nothing is happening. Actually you've been praying so hard and it seems there is nothing that is happening. And I want to declare today that this month of divine grace, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. God will lift you even when, even will lift you in your, from your praise, hallelujah, from that platform that you really feel that you need God. This is the time that God will come. I want to pray that God comes without sending anybody upon your predicament this month in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe that, say amen. God will come. This is our year of great catch. And the year of the great catch, eh, God will release the, his divine grace for you to catch a big and great catch. Oh, a great catch. A great catch. Hallelujah. So this man, through his divine grace, God will activate, you know, a great catch for your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want you to say amen. Number five, which is actually the month of, the month of May. Number five, the new male of five, eh, is actually symbolizes grace. It symbolizes grace. It's actually considered as goodness and grace of God. God, God, God uses this, this five. Five, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Number five, eh? The fivefold ministry. Amen. Is, there is a kind of completeness in God. There is a kind, there is a kind of grace mm -hmm, to complete orders. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. For there are actually the five first uh, commandments. You know, there, 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 are many, uh, there are many things that you see God using in the Bible as five. So we have already said that number five is a symbol of divine grace. But when we multiply this number, it comes to 25. When you multiply 5 by 5. So uh, when the Bible talks of grace upon grace, we are talking, uh, we are talking about 5 mm, and multiplied by 5. Then we are saying this month is, uh, this month is a month. It's not even a double grace. Hallelujah. Is um, is a multiple that is a multiple of five. So it's, it's great grace. So you'll enjoy great grace. Enjoy great grace this month in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And may God continue to help us. Even where we are weak, I want to declare that uh, through the grace of God, which is actually now sufficient grace, you shall be whole in the name of Jesus Christ. Second Corinthians 12 and first number 9. The Bible says, the Bible says, hallelujah. And he says unto me, he says unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in, in, in weaknesses, you know, most gladly, therefore, will I glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. That, is, that was Paul. 
who had an issue. Actually, Paul had an issue and he prayed and he prayed and he prayed. Hallelujah. And God did not remove the, the, the issue. Hallelujah. Or oh, God did not remove that thorn. But he told him that my grace is sufficient. Hallelujah. May the grace of God be sufficient in your life, even in your weakness, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the strength of the Lord be made perfect. Even in your weakness or infirmity this man in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For there will be grace upon grace in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. What is grace? Grace is unmerited favor of God towards mankind. Unmerited favor. Undeserved favor. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That which affords joy, pressure, delight, sweetness. Charm, loveliness. So grace is there for unmerited favor of God towards foreign man, whereby for the sake of Christ, by the, for the sake of Christ, hallelujah, for the sake of Christ. Amen. <clears throat> we didn't deserve, we do not deserve, even, even this grace. We do not deserve. We don't deserve even the kindness of God. We do not deserve even the goodness of God. We do not even deserve even the healing of God. But through the grace of God, then we enjoy sweetness. We enjoy goodness. We enjoy wholeness. We enjoy good things from the Lord. Hallelujah. And this month you shall enjoy you shall enjoy the goodness of the Lord. So the, the, the word grace is often used to express the concept, the concept of what? The concept of kindness given to someone who does not deserve it. It is undeserved favor, especially that, uh, that, that kind bestowed on sinners through Christ Jesus. Eh? Because we are saved through grace. Mimi na wewe, tumeokolewa kupitia neema. Ni kupitia neema. Kwa sababu, sisi, tulitenda dhambi. Na Biblia inasema the wages of sin is death. Sisi tugekufa, lakini kwa sababu ya neema ya mungu. Kwa sababu ya uzuri wa mungu, ambayo mimi na wewe, hatu kustahili. Eh? Kibari hicho cha mungu, ambacho hatu kustahili. Tuka, tuka okolewa. Tuka forgiven. Hata leo, tunapitaga katika maeneo na tunajikuta kweli tuliangukaga. Lakini kupitia neema hiyo, haleluya, tunasimama. Kupitia neema ya mungu, utaendelea kusimama. Kupitia neema ya mungu, especially mwezi huu, utainuliwa kutoka kiwango hiki, utaingia kiwango kile kingine katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kupitia neema ya mungu, yale mambo yako yanawezekana, ya yatawezekana mwezi huu katika jina la Yesu Kristo wanazaleti. Sema amen. Sema amen. Bwana anatupenda na upedo wa ajabu. Amen. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 1 and verse number 15. 1 Corinthians 1 and verse number 15. Bibiria inasema, Lest anyone should say that I had, I had baptized in my own name. Bibiria inasema hivyo. Yangu inasema, But by grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. Hallelujah. So, we are saying, through the grace of God, we are who we are. Through the grace of God, you are who you are. If you are a believer, say hallelujah. It is through the grace of God that you and me are who they are. Because if you look at your life, utajikosa. Ukiangalia maisha yako na kuambia utajikosa. Utaangalia useme ni mimi kweli utajikosa. Lakini kwa sababu ya neema ambaye Mungu ameachilia ndani ya maisha yako, you are who you are. Sema I am who I am through the grace of God. I am who I am through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ati unamuimbia mungu. Ati unahubili. Ati unatoa uchuda. You are who you are by the grace 
of God. Hallelujah. Ni hiyo neema ambaye Mungu aliachilia towards you. It is indeed not in vain. The grace of God that he poured upon your life and he will pour upon your life will continue to change you to who God wants you to be. Your destiny, hallelujah, will, will be directed by through the grace of God. It is not through who you are. It is not what you can do. It is not your strength. No, it is through the grace of God. Mwezi huu ni mwezi wa kuiba hosana kwa sababu ya neema ya Mungu ambaye anaenda kuashiria katika kipindi hiki katika maisha yetu. Mwezi wa ine ulikuwa mwezi wetu wa kibali cha Mungu. Nao mwezi huu ni mwezi wa neema, neema ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Katika, and we need to embrace that. Hallelujah. So divine grace will answer will answer and become the solution of all your problems this man in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how many times you have knocked into that office. It doesn't matter how many times you have written that application. It doesn't matter how many times you have gone to the, the, the doctor's office. But I say this to you that the divine grace will bring forth a solution in your life this man in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pahali umekua ukikimbia. Pahali umekua ukitarajia. Mambo umekua ukikimbia kuatafuta. Mbwana analeta. Anayaleta. Kupitia neema yake. Katika maisha yako. Katika china. La iso kritu wa nazareti. Kama ni mimi wewe na pigia yesu makomi mazuri. Hallelujah. Amen. I didn't want to say I'm actually eh, a product of of grace. I'm a product of grace. At times I look at my life. Najikosa kabisa. Pahari nilitoka. Wapi na mambo nimepitia. I am a product. An evidence. Eh, that God. Eh, God's grace. Works miracles in the lives of men. Hallelujah. Huku sikia vile nimesema. Mimi ni ushuhuda. Ya kwamba neema ya mungu. Ufanya kazi. Nikiangalia pahari mimi nimetoka. Nikiangalia mimi ni nani leo. Nikiangalia ha, hii ni neema. I am a product. Hallelujah. Yeah? All an evidence that the grace of God works miracles. And the grace of God upon your life is never in vain. You look at Paul. Hallelujah. Who was Paul? Hallelujah. Eh, Paulo alikuwa nani? Alikuwa na wadhi haki wa Kristo. Ha, hakuwa na uzuri wowote. In fact, eh, mm, mm, alikuwa a very good product of hell. Kama ungemwangalia na uone, sijui kama unaweza chola hiyo picha. Wakati Stefano anapigwa mawe, akisimama pale, anasema piga hujapiga. Anasema piga mawe kabisa hujapiga na huyo ni mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa anadhihakiwa na pigwa eh nani akisupervise Paul ana supervise na kwa sababu ya neema ya Mungu ana <laughs> kama ni wewe ingekuaje haleluya ana supervise yeye ana supervise you know Stephen Awawe na si Stephen peke yake Many, 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 many saints wali, wali wawa akiwe, akimeweka signature na ingine anaenda kusimamia. Ndipo waza haka andika, eh? akasema, the grace of God in my life is not in vain. Akikubuka pahali ya metoka. Na niwewe pia ni hivyo, ukiangalia pahali ulitoka, utaniambia ya kwamba, kama sio neema, mimi ningekuwa nimekufa. Kama sio neema ya Mungu mimi ningekuwa sigekuwa si naonekana. Ni wangapi wanaamini hiyo? Ni wangapi wanajua hiyo? Nisiwe tu ni mimi peke yangu. Pahali pote nimepita mimi nikiangalia nyuma hivi ninaona neema. Sijui kama wewe unaona neema? Hata sasa neema hiyo neema hiyo mwezi huu itaongezeka dabu. 
itaongezeka dabu itaongezeka dabu nipoza pahali popote ambao ulikuwa unatarajia kitu chochote biashara yako na mambo yako na mashida zile uko nazo mwezi huu there will be a solution through the grace of god for this man is a man of divine grace hallelujah pigia yesu makovi neema 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 ya mungu each one of us each one of us is an evidence of the grace of god wewe ni evidence ukiangalia pahari ulitoka ujue kweli eh na biblia inasema ya kwamba you know ukiangalia watu kuna watu wengi ukiangalia mtu kama yusufu yusufu alipanda vile alipanda kupitia nini kupitia neema kila mtu neema sema neema hata abraham jia zile alipita na akaenda namna hiyo eh? yote ilikuwa ni nini ni neema ya Mungu aliashiria aliashiria katika maisha ya watu wake angalia this include Paul Paul tumeongea juu yake Enoch David Joseph Samuel Elijah Elizabeth Mary Peter Moses Esther everybody ilikuwa ni neema hakuna binadamu ali anastahili uzuri wa Mungu huko na hata hata sasa hata wewe usiniangalie hivyo you do not deserve the goodness of the lord even the kindness of the lord ni neema ambia mwezako ni neema hallelujah yeah hata wale watu umechokozana nao wale watu umechokozana nao eh karibu wakupeleke kotini wengine wameongea <laughs> kama sio neema ungekuwa hapa say thank you god for your grace eh hey, umdhangi tu watu mkono useme asante bwana kwa sababu ya neema ambayo ameachilia katika maisha yangu ya kwamba sasa mimi ninaonekana kama mtu unaonekana kama mtu eh? hmm. hatukwa kwa vitabu za Mungu hata kama hatugetafutwa namna gani majina yetu haigepatikana mahali pale lakini sasa kwa sababu kupitia neema hiyo majina yetu iko mahali pale sema majina langu liko pale kwa sababu ya neema hata bigudi vitabu vigefunguliwa vivunguliwe vivunguliwe hakuna jina yako lakini kupitia neema hiyo 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 jina yako hiyo wangeshi wa ilimo huu aha na majina hiyo ingine na unyango na utieno na koskei hiyo yote utakuta hizo majina kutoka kishaki hizo majina ambayo ulipewa na mama yako siko kakitika kitambu cha uzima si kwa sababu ya hapahari ulitoka si kwa sababu ya yale ulifanya si kwa sababu ya yale ume, ume, umetenda lakini ni kwa sababu ya neema tunaenda biguni kwa sababu ya neema ni neema saa zingine ukijiangalia na uone vile Mungu wako mkuu <laughs> Mungu ni mkuu sasa wewe ni nani sema ni neema I hope you have been called a son. A son of God. Oh, oh, a son of God. Hey, hey. You are called a son of God. Ambia mwezi wako mimi naitwa son. Son of God. Hata kama huitwi son of son of son of man. Son of your father. Labda hata una baba huyo. Labda hata hujui kuliadaga namna gani ulijikutaga. Mimi niko na good news kwako. Haijalishi hata kama huitwi son of anybody wewe ni son of god kupitia neema ambia mwezako kupitia neema hata kama mimi siitwi son of who or son of who haleluya naona vijana siku hizi wale wamesaliwa hivi hawajui mababa zao wanajiita mwehaki haleluya ah akiulizwa huu wewe ni son ya nani son of mwehaki haleluya sasa haijalishi hata kama ujui unaitwa sani ya nani. Hallelujah. By far show of the grace of God, you are a son, you are a son of the living God. You are a son of the living God. Wacha kungangana. Hallelujah. Kuitwa sani ya mtu mkubwa. Unajua kuna watu wanangangana hivyo wanataka kuitwa sani ya wale watu wakubwa. Eh, usinione? Amen. 
Hmm? Because you are very, very, very far distant. Very far. Hata unajita anko. Unajireta karibu. Ah, mimi. Ah, mimi huko. Mimi ni anko. Na hata hakuna hiyo. Wachana na hiyo yote. You are a son of the living God. By fashion of the grace of God. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Avalari ni koze kuitua majina zikine zote. Eh? Light, leveled, what, all these things. Na ni ito a son of God. It is a, the greatest honor that can ever be given to mankind. Andika hiyo. The greatest honor that God has bestowed mankind is to have them as their sons. If you are a son of God, say hallelujah. Hakuna igine. That can make you walk tall. It is through that the heaven doors open. It is through that that the favor of God goes before you. It is not these other names. Amen. Ziko. Lakini let me tell you. They do not mean anything. To God. What did it matter? Are you a son? <laughs> Are you a son of God? Ambia mutu hiyo diyo tikiti yangu. Hallelujah. Hmm? Kama vile Esther. Hmm? Alipata kibari. Alipata neema. Kuingia kwa mfarme. Akaruka protocols. Kulikuwa na protocols wakati wa Esther. Who gaingia kwa king yeyote? Amen. Who gaingia kwa king? Kama wewe haujatengeneza maneno hiyo ya protocol. Kama vile aliingia kwa mfalme bila protocol. I declare that there will be no protocol when God blesses you this man because of his divine grace. This man hakutakuwa na protocol. Mungu si lazima apite bahari kwingi kwingi ndio akubariki. This man will remove protocol in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bwana anakuja kwako, anakutembelea, anakusaidia bila protocol. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. So Esther was taken into the king, eh? Into the king's loyal praise. Akapelekwa pale. Na Biblia inasema ilikuwa mwezi wa tano ilikuwa mwezi wa tano walikuwa wanaita Tebeth the month of Tebeth haleluya the month of Tebeth ndio huyo Esther aliingia akaingia kwa mfalme akapata kibari akapata neema mwezi huu wa tano mwezi huu wa Tebeth mwezi huu wa Tebeth utaingia kwa mfalme bila protocol katika jina la Yesu utafunguliwa milango mwezi huu wa Tebeth mwezi huu wa tano utaingia utaingia haleluya bahari ume, umekusudia kuingia maombi yako yatajibiwa diposa uweze kuingia uingia katika pahali unataka kuingia your destiny you enter your destiny in this man through the grace of the lord jesus right receive that in the name of the lord pokea hiyo mwezi wa tebeth hey may you obtain grace to do what you have been trying to do for all those years in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may you obtain grace may you obtain grace to do the impossible this month in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ if you believe that one say amen unataka kuongeza biashara mara 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 this is the month because there is a double grace in operation there is double grace of a flowing overflowing or flowing and all of our flow upon your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ongeza biashara. Wale watu wanafanya biashara, tafadhali ninakuambia na unisikie vizuri. Purpose to increase your business double because this month is grace upon grace. It's a month of grace upon grace. This month is a, a month of great grace. This is a month of double grace. This is a month of divine grace. Hey, take 
Pick that one. Go with it. Carry it along. Not only the business, the things that you do. Increase double. Increase double because of the double grace that God is releasing and is flowing and overflowing upon your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pick your Jesus Makovi. Hey. This is Teben. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Hebrews 4 and verse number 16. Hebrews 4, verse number 16. So let, the, let us therefore. Amen. <laughs> let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our times of need. Hmm. Grace comes to us as a package. We need to go boldly to the throne of grace. The throne of God, by the way, is called throne of grace. Hallelujah. The writer of Hebrews was so much fast with the New Test the Old Testament. The issues of tabernacle and temple, he was really fast. The throne of our God today, <laughs> where Jesus is sitting at the right hand, is the throne of grace. In your prayer, when you pray, you need to go there boldly. Because the grace is yours. The, the throne is yours. Is a throne that you and me do not deserve to walk there. We do not deserve. <laughs> it is called the throne of grace. Kwa sababu katika hiyo throne, uzuri wa mungu unafrow kutoka kwa kiti kile. Na kupitia neema wewe na mimi tukaokolewa kupitia neema tukona tuko tunaambiwa enda pale boldre the throne of grace it has it has everything that you need the bible says when you do that you will obtain mercy you will obtain grace hallelujah in, uh, uh, in to help you in your time of need. Do you have any need? If you have any need, the, the throne of God is open for you. You who is you who is embodied with the grace of God, you have the power to go there boldly to receive your need in the time. To receive grace in the time of your need. Who has the cause Diposa unakuta unapohomba Biblia inasema eh God will give you whatever you are asking for The Bible says in Matthew 7:7 7, 7, that you knock hallelujah eh inasema aje Matthew 7:7 7, 7. inasema ask ask and it shall be given to you seek and you will fight knock and you will be it will be opened. Why? Because eh? because we are talking of the throne of grace. Great things, blessings, you know, they come from the throne of grace. So when you ask, eh? it will be given as you walk boldly to the throne of grace. The throne of grace is for you who now is a son of the living God. Hallelujah. The throne of grace is where our father releases blessings from. If you are a son, say hallelujah. And as a son, the Bible says that you walk boldly to the throne of grace, the throne of your father. Because when you go there, hallelujah, you will find mercy and grace in your time of need. So this month, as we walk boldly to the throne of grace, which is the throne of our Father, we shall receive 
our needs. God shall meet us at the points of our needs. This month, you will not pray amiss. Why? You go boldly to the throne of grace. This is a month of double blessing and God will only release blessings. Whatever you need is yours for the asking. God has opened his grace for his sons and today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ he will, you will receive whatever you need from, from his throne because everything everything is in his throne. Pia is Makovia. Hallelujah. And in the first place even the blessings that you receive from God you don't deserve. Hallelujah. But they are yours. <laughs> they belong to you because you are a son. So when you ask, you are not begging. I have said this and I will say today. Asking is not begging. Asking. Asking is not begging. You don't beg your father because what all what he has belongs to you. You ask. You don't beg. You are not an orphan. You have become a son. What you ask from the father belongs to you. You have a stakeholder. You have that, you have that inheritance from the Lord. Wewe, sikia ni kueleze. Whatever belongs to Jesus now belongs to you too. The inheritance of the Father that belongs to Jesus through the grace of God, you became a son. So you are a co hire together with the Christ Jesus. So as you walk boldly, as you ask today, you are not begging, you are asking the Father. To release that which belongs to you. You are inheritance. You are inheritance. Because you are called higher together with Christ Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is, and that is the difference between begging and praying. We are not begging our God. We are asking our God. Asking has a kind of ownership. You own. You own whatever belongs to the Father belongs to you because you are core inheritor together with Christ Jesus. Ata uja mtoto mpotefu. Haku. Uja mtoto mpotefu. Hallelujah. Mtoto waliyo potea. Akija kwa baba yake. He never begged he asks because whatever his father had belongs belonged to the children. You ask. That's why the throne of grace is accessible. Is accessible. Hey, the throne of grace is accessible. You don't go boldly, boldly in a place that is not accessible. You go boldly with the surety, with the confidence that whatever belongs to God belongs to you too. That's why you go boldly. I love that. Hallelujah. When my son comes to ask me for something, they come boldly. They come boldly because what I have belongs to them too. That's why they ask, Daddy, I want to eat fish. And they come boldly, knowing that what I have, the fish I have, <laughs> belongs to them too. So today, in the name of the Lord, I want us to walk boldly. I want us to come boldly to the throne of grace in prayer. You rise up from wherever you are. Somebody knows that I'm concluding. You rise up from wherever you are and walk boldly to the throne of grace and ask God what you want. 
The throne of grace is where God shares blessings with his people. So you need to walk boldly and, and ask that which you want. Today we are praying. I want you to pray. This is a very important hour. Go boldly to the throne of grace. The throne of grace is the throne of your father. You are a son. 